First of all, can you tell us a little bit about Guinevere? Um, so Guinevere, uh, well, she starts off this very young, um, very sweet uh, young young girl who has her life set out before her. Um, she's going to marry this her childhood sweetheart, um, and he's he's a stoic, strong fighter. He's going to protect her. He's from a well-off family. Like they have she, her life is mapped out, um, but it doesn't excite her. Um, so she's trying to be very you know the good the good lady and um, you know the good wife and be loyal to him and you know keep keep herself occupied but actually it's very difficult until she meets Arthur and he shows her this new way of life and it's like a breath of fresh air to her and she he excites her I mean it's just this star-crossed loving you know like I mean it is it's, it's the epic Arthur and Guinevere love story and her whole life turns upside down when she meets him she's never felt so um, alive before and then it's having to, unfortunately, with an with a, um, unhappy circumstance, she gets has to live in Camelot with Leontes and Arthur. And it's that struggle of being under the eyes of two men that she loves, but also the eyes of everyone in the castle. And everyone knows everyone's business. So it's, it's hard for her. To, she has to grow up in this um, season. She has to really learn how to handle her, her emotions and how to steer herself away from danger, emotional danger as well as physical danger. And, um, and she has to just take on responsibility for her actions in this, which uh, she's find, found very difficult. And she makes mistakes. She's human. She's a young girl who's made mistakes and has been put in a very difficult situation. And so I'm just trying to make the audience um, feel for her and invest in her. And I want people to like her. I don't want people to judge her and, and immediately think, well, you know, well, she's got herself into this. Well, she hasn't. I mean, it, it, she's, um, she's just a naive girl who has to kind of take on her responsibilities. Can you relate to her at all? Um, I can to the extent that I'm quite feisty and I like to think that my life is a little bit more than uh, a linear kind of grow up, have babies, you know, I want to experience different things and, and I think that, for, for that, that part of her I am very much the same. I don't know how I would be if in, in, in her situation between, you know, two, between, two, torn between two lovers, I don't know how I would, I would be, I'd love to think that I wouldn't do what she did um, or what she does but I don't know I mean it's a horrible situation that I don't think anyone would want to be a part of and and you know I've you know I'm not I'm, I haven't been I have my father hasn't told me to marry a man and I haven't fallen in love with somebody else so it's I don't know but um, she's very nice and she's she's religious and sweet and, and I like her for that so obviously there have been a lot of adaptations of Arthurian legend do you think this one's a bit more adult uh, yes, I think it's actually I think it's it's, ad, it's ad, younger and more adult. It's there's a very it's a, it's a real mix because you've got Arthur and Guinevere are young, are very young, and you see them kind of growing up in this series. But then you've also got really strong um, actors like Joseph Fine, Sebastian Koch, um, Sinead Cusack, um, James Purefoy, Liam Cunningham. Really strong adult actors that I think give it a bit of gravitas. And so you've got the young, um, you know. Beauty, and you've got you've got um, Philip Winchester and Ava Green and and Peter Mooney. So they're all the young. The, we're the young lot, and then you've got you know the, the serious guys. And so it's quite nice to see the different energies, which I think is what Camelot's all about. It is just different energies under under one roof, and how they work together, and the politics behind it, and the relationships. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's it's fascinating. So, so I think it's 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 both. Um, I mean, there is action adventure, but there's also romance. But it's also a character driven drama. It's not just you know swords and horse riding. It's you, you know you can really get into to, into the characters and invest your time. And there's a lot of scenes where it's just two characters talking, and things that are said and the manipulation of each character. And it's it's very interesting. I think. And you, you've known Jamie, who plays Arthur, since you were nine. Yes. Does that make it easier to have that romantic relationship, or does it make it I even harder? I think it harder? does. I think it does purely because we're so relaxed. So we've got on, uh, on film that relaxed feeling that you get when you do fancy someone or when you're with someone for a, while, a long time you do there's a different way you work with them and I have that with Jamie because I've known him you know most of my life so you know if I kiss him we giggle afterwards but it's it's so much easier um to, to, to you know to do he, he you know we know each other's other halves it's it's absolutely you know it's absolutely fine and, and I, I do tease him I'm quite mean <laughs> but it's great we're like more brother and sister in a way uh so yeah it does make those kind of scenes a lot a lot easier 
easier. And it looks like we're meant to be together because we are so easy in each other's company. So um, no, it makes it a lot easier, I think. Okay, and just one last question. How would you persuade someone to tune in and watch Camelot? Oh, I think it's just going to be so. It's just going to be so fantastic. I mean, there's a bit for everything. There's a bit. There's a bit for everyone. Um, there's action and there is adventure. So the guys are going to get their blood, guts, and gore. Um, but you've also got the heart racing, passion, and you know, beautiful um, romance for the women. But you've also got the sex, which is going to be you know, bring you know, hopefully make a lot of people happy as well because it's you know, it's, it's erotic. But then you've also got you know, the the, the emotional. Um, kind of fa family dynamic of, of Ava and, and Jamie with um, with jealousy and, and envy and you've also got the magic as well in there so you've got I mean I, I mean you could literally take a questionnaire and say what you like and it's all in Camelot so um, I think I think you've got to watch it now <laughs> now I've said that I mean come on